The Flower Arranger by JJ Ellis, published by Agaro Books and set mainly in Tokyo. Holly Blaine is a young budding reporter and she is working for the Tomei Shinbun. Uh, she reports on all kinds of lightweight stuff like entertainment, what the kids are doing, what the young people are doing, pop stars and so forth. But she wants to get more serious. She wants to start crime reporting. She is introduced to Inspector Tanaka and she soon discovers that there are not one but two missing young adolescents from Europe. One is from Scandinavia and Marie-Louise Durand is the latest one who has been reported missing. Inspector Tanaka is very much stuck in the rituals of Japanese crime uh, investigation and Holly can kind of slice her way through it um, and she almost seems to be one step ahead of him most of the time. This novel is very much set in the springtime when the sakura, the cherry blossom, is coming to fruition. And what you have to bear in mind is that the cherry blossom moves across the country and people watch avidly where the best place to see uh, the best cherry blossom is. So one day it could be Tokyo, then another day it could be somewhere else. Um, and this is crucial to this book. Blaine and Tanaka soon find out that there is a character that is common to all the situations they're picking up on and this is a figure who looks like Roy Orbison. They also see that there is an awful lot of precision um, around flowers so when one body turns up there is an awfully big clue that there is something to do with flowers. Their investigations take them from Tokyo and it is clear that the author really knows his way around the city, um, you know, up the little alleyways, uh, talks about the food, um, so it's a very Japanese book this. Um, they go to Himeji where of course there is that beautiful white castle, they go down to Kyoto and uh, they ultimately end up in Irimoto where there is apparently a very very rare orchid and for somebody who is very fussed about uh, flowers this is obviously um, you know spot on. This is a really nicely put together book, it bowls along at a very nice pace, um, the characters blend very well, it's a very smooth read um, and of course if you like all things Japanese then I would suggest you pick up The Flower Ranger by J.J. Ellis because, um, you know, it is just full of Japan, of Tokyo, of Kyoto, um, and full of customs and mores, and I very much enjoyed it.